Forgive me, Lord, for I have sinned again. But when the devil showed me this black Shimano, all of my defenses just collapsed. Hi guys, and uh, Captain Dave, I hope you watch this video too. Those of you who have seen a few of my reviews probably know that I'm a sucker for two things. All black reels and low gear ratio. And uh, I've been eyeing this reel for a long time, but it didn't come with a low gear ratio. And the original version has some really awkward for me sizes where they're kind of too big. It only comes in 3000 and 4000. And those are too big for crappy and trout and not big enough for catfish and carp. So because I don't do bass fishing, I couldn't really justify the enormous price just to look at this reel. But Shimano just released this thing. And it comes in a smaller size and in a low gear ratio. So yours truly just couldn't resist it. So here is what we're gonna do in this review. First, I'm gonna give you a short review of the reel, as short as I can, and you know my short. And then we're gonna compare it with uh, the lower price point from Shimano, the Stratic CI4. And then we're gonna compare it with the usual suspects from Daiwa, the Legalis, Exceller, and Daiwa Theory 2017. Now, if you're interested in any of these reels here, I've already made detailed reviews, and I mean excruciating detail uh, reviews on these reels, and I'm going to leave a link to all of these in the description below. So let's look at this a little bit closer. First of all, in my opinion, and I know this can be subjective, but I think this is the most beautiful spinning reel on the market. No chrome, no gold, no purple. Even the black is actually matte black. For those of you who buy a European carp tackle from uh, you know, the continent, from UK mainly, you know, all of the carp tackle looks like this. In the United States, they spray paint everything like it's gonna be sold in Toys R Us. But uh, yeah, in my opinion, this guy, the most beautiful reel, spinning reel uh, on the market. Now I'm gonna talk about the gears and smoothness and all of that when I compare with the other reels. But uh, look at this thing. Even at this price point, and I'm not gonna say how much I paid for this because I kinda got a, a deal from somebody, I bargained uh, for two weeks with him. But even at this price point, this reel is made in Malaysia. I don't know how much you have to pay to buy a reel that says made in Japan. Now, the first thing that everybody should pay note to is the model that I'm reviewing, okay? This is Exessence, I don't know how this is pronounced, CI4 Plus. And 3000M is the low gear ratio model. Why is this important? Because if you buy the previous model, which is just Exessence without the CI4 Plus, the real looks identical, only a little bit bigger, but is actually a very different reel. Much superior than this thing and also much more expensive. So guys, once again, this is CI4 model, not the, the original version. And let me do this review a little bit backward this time and actually start with the punchline. This Xsens CI4 reel is not a version of the Xsens reel, okay? 
It's not a different model of this X-Sense reel, even though that's how they named it. This reel is actually a different version and a different model of the Shimano Stradic reel. Okay, this reel is this reel with a paint job and a couple of added bells and whistles that I'm gonna show you. Look at the shape of the rotors and try to imagine this reel is black as well, okay? The exact same shape and size. Actually, it's the exact same MGL uh, Magnum Light uh, rotor in the same reels. The bodies, they're exactly the same. All of the rims, all of the curves, it is the same body. They just put this reel in this body, but they painted it matte black. Look, all of the holes, everything is the same. Even I'm going to show you this. Look at these little holes, two little holes here with this. Look on the Stratic. Exactly the same. Like, no details are different. Hagani. Hagani. Look, guys. It is the same reel. Look, the caps on top of the spool. They have the same little spikes. Like, they didn't even bother making one more spike or one less to make it a little bit different. Look at the handles. The exact same handle. Not even a little bit longer or anything. Even the bolt, the connection. Everything exactly the same. It just looks like a blacked out Shimano Stradic. And it happens to be a Shimano Stradic because... Here is the most important part, okay? All of the internals of these reels are exactly the same. You get exactly the same Hagani gear and uh, CI4 body and pinion gear, bearings. This one does have three extra bearings and I'll show you where they are. But the original CI4 actually has magnesium body and it has the new generation of Shimano gears, which they call Hyper Mesh. Okay, and these are the things that are important. The frame and the gears, you know, the rest is just cosmetics. So, this doesn't ha share the frame or the gears uh, with the original accents and shares the frame and the gears with the Stradic. So, you tell me, whose brother is it? So, I think the honest name of this reel should have been not Xsense CI4 Plus, but Stradic CI4 Plus Black Death, or Black Ops, or Black Mamba, or something like this. Some black version of the Stradic CI4 reel. Now, there are some differences, to be sure. It's not the... Uh, just a paint job. Let me first show you where the extra three bearings are. But even before that, compare the drawings, man, the schematics of these two reels. Look. Look at this. All of the parts are exactly the same. I mean, this whole drawing looks like the same drawing if not for the slightly different spool and a couple of other things first extra bearing so this thing here on this side of the knob on the Stradic you have a bushing on the other side of the knob you have a bearing okay on the X sense I hope I'm saying this right you have bearings on both sides of the knob okay one extra bearing and we have two more bearings and they are maybe somebody noticed already uh, this pool is supported on bushings this pool 
has a bearing, the spool on the axis is supported by two bearings on top and on the bottom, no bushings. So these are the three extra bearings. So we have the three extra bearings over here and actually there is one other major difference between the two reels and everything else is cosmetics, okay? And this is the X-Protect versus Core Protect, okay? I saw one video uh, where one guy actually took these two protects apart and his opinion is that the X-Protect is actually significantly better than Core Protect in protecting. Now, if you are a saltwater guy, uh, this can be important to you. I'm freshwater. It really shouldn't matter to me. Other than this, man, it's really tough to find anything at all, particularly because on these diagrams, there is no color, okay? So I noticed the drag washers on the accents are slightly different. I don't know what difference that would make, but if not for these different drag washers, slightly different cuts in the spool, the three bearings and the X-Protect versus Core Protect, man, there is nothing. This is just one and the same reel. Well, almost forgot the most important part. The accents comes with a, I don't know, clean looking Shimano bag. The Stradic does not. Now, as you can imagine, two reels with the same frame and the same gears and same internals should feel equally smooth, and indeed, they do. I can't tell which of these reels is smoother, and it'd probably be weird if I could tell. However, you can probably hear the Stratic, I mean, I've used it a few times already. And this one is out of the box. I haven't even put line on it. This one is quieter than the Stradic. And also the feeling is a little bit different. But you don't know if they put the same grease inside. But in terms of smoothness, both reels, I mean, you will not feel any gears in either of these reels. They're just perfectly smooth. But here is why smoothness just doesn't mean what it used to mean, okay? Here is a $50 Legalis on Amazon. It weighs exactly the same as the $300 reel. Okay, they both weigh 195 grams. And when I spin this, I mean, it feels perfectly smooth too. They all feel perfectly smooth these days. Not all. All Daiwa LT reels feel perfectly smooth and all Shimano Hagani gears feel perfectly smooth. And guys, I used to have a lot of Okumas and Fugers and other brands. I'm telling you, if you haven't tried the newest Daiwa and Shimano's, uh, your, your definition of smooth is something different, okay? No other brand has a reel that's this smooth at any price to begin with. Okay, I don't I don't care what is the most expensive Fluger or Okuma. They're not gonna be as smooth, okay? And then not to talk about this reel is not very strong, doesn't have any seals, okay? No salt water, no nothing. It has only four bearings. But god damn it, the this digi gear, I mean Every bit as smooth as the $300 Shimano XS, XS, guys, okay? I really want this reel to be smoother than the $50 Legalis, but it's not. Here is the sound of the drag, by the way. You know it's important for me. And so, micro click. What else? The knob, same as on the Stradic. I've told you before, in my opinion, 
these eye-shaped knobs from Daiwa are much more comfortable on a finesse reel. Okay, look at this slim profile. It's 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 much better. Shimano should just ditch this design. Now, very interesting, even at this price point, I guess not uh, surprising since it's the same reel as the Stradic, but you still have free play at the handle. And it's not it's not very little. I mean, it's not a lot, but it's the same as in the Stradic. By the way, so do the cheaper Daiwa LT reels. The only reel of the five that doesn't have free play at the handle is this Daiwa Theory. This is one uh, impressive little reel. That's it for this video guys. I hope this uh, information and this comparison between the Stradic and the Accents uh, can uh, help somebody who is considering this reel because when I googled just nothing came up. Guys if you like this video please give me a thumbs up so Google would uh, rank it higher. And as always I welcome any kind of comments, corrections, disagreements, any feedback uh, on my reviews. Thanks for watching and fingers crossed that I catch some crappy tomorrow, okay?